Hello guys and welcome. I'm here to show you my latest creation, which is the STMAP node for Blackmagic Fusion. Many of you might know that uh, in Fusion there is already a STMAP equivalent, which is the texture node. But it, it has a couple of issues when it comes to things like, for example, um, lens distortion or things like that. So let me show you what, what the problem is. Here I have a couple of STMAP and these STMAP were made in Nuke. So for example here if I pipe the STMAP in the background and my video in the foreground I get my um, and distortion which is correct and if I crop the image as you can see I have my undistorted footage so the problem here comes if I load a second texture node and if I pipe the redistort map in the uh, background and the video in the foreground as you can see, this is what I get, and if I crop it again, as you can see, I lose some of the image which was uh, beyond the frame resolution. So, What if I change the clipping mode from frame to none, so that, as you can see, we have our DOD and the image is, um, and the pixels are still there? Well, sadly, nothing changes because the texture node is not compatible with the DOD. So, let me show you what I came up with, which is this STMAP macro and you pipe the uh, video in the background and the distortion map in the foreground and uh, you get the proper distortion as you can see the DOD now is uh, clipping in the frame but if we set it to none we get all of our image back and of course the alpha is correct and then if we add a second ST map and use the redistort map we have our footage back and let me show you we have almost no difference in addition to that uh, within the ST map you can add some filtering and some super sampling but let me show you for example here this is the original video and this is the ST map as you can see the uh, there is a little bit of softening but you can I think you can live with that uh, one important thing um, when you're using the ST map is this image tab here where you have to set the resolution uh, in order to be the same as your footage. In this case, what I did was going to the preference and in the not in the global settings but in the comp setting, in the frame format, I set the frame format to the resolution I wanted, which is the one for, from the video itself. So when you load an ST map, the resolution will be correct. If you need to change the resolution, just uncheck the use frame format setting and type in where the, where the one that you prefer. Uh, be aware that if the uh, resolution is set differently from your source video, the STMAP won't work correctly. So let's put the STMAP on a test in the real world and see what happens. So here I have my undistorted uh, footage. Let's keep it like this and add a camera tracker and let's go to the last frame 
and this is the part of the image that I'm gonna track and as you can see none of the people seems to be going past the, uh, these rectangles so let's uh, view the tracker on the image preview bi-directional tracking and let's add some features and let me enable the proxy just for the sake of this tutorial and let's hit auto track and see what happens Okay, tracking is now done, so let's disable the preview auto location and let's move over the solve tab and I'm gonna solve and see where we stand. Okay, as you, as you can see we have a very good 0.5 average solve error which is good enough for the purpose of this tutorial let's add a mesh 3d and let's check our track and as you can see it seems pretty solid to me let's go back to the tracker and change the colors of the features and then I'm gonna export my tracking so I'm gonna change the point cloud to point and now let me add these three elements I made previously let's add also a light and have a look through the camera and this seems pretty solid to me Okay, now we can disable all this and the shortcut will be Command P on a Mac and Control P on a PC and then what I want to do is take my redistort EXR Oh, by the way, be sure that your um, ST maps are set to 32-bit float so now I'm gonna enable the lighting in my uh, render and I'm gonna add an ST map and use the redistort here so as you can see here uh, my uh, render is cut out and what we have to do is to move to the image tab in my render and in this section I'm gonna increase the domain of a scan to 2 so that we have all the image back and so as you can see now I have my image composited let's have a playback the ST map node will allow you to use externally generated ST maps from software such as Mocha or Nuke or Synthize or PFTrack, you name it. There are many softwares that can generate standard ST maps. So, as you can see, we managed to uh, recreate the lens distortion using ST maps inside of Fusion. Uh, be aware that now you're seeing these lens distortion rendering a bit soft because I have the proxy on. But anyway, uh, this tool, the ST map node, will be soon on Reactor. Uh, I hope you will find these useful. Feel free to support me via Reactor uh, using the PayPal link and thank you very much for watching see you in the next one bye bye